All right, my name is Barrett Rose. Uh, this semester, uh, this is fall of 2023, I did the UMSL Athletic Department internship. Uh, the overview of it, uh, worked for UMSL Athletics. I worked under Alex Langella, who is the uh, facilities director here at UMSL. Um, <clears throat> also worked with Eric Stephenson and uh, our athletic director, Ms. Flanagan. Um, so the overview, uh, worked all the fall sports, men's and women's soccer, volleyball, swimming, and men's and women's basketball. <clears throat> um, my roles and duties for the fall, uh, we ended up getting, we got to each game about three hours early for setup and tear down. Uh, during the game, we would work concessions, pr uh, production, so the broadcast and everything that goes along with that. Uh, we would work the score table, the We'd be a ball crew of soccer games, volleyball games, and then we would also work ticketing as well. And other times we would just roam around. Uh, my goals for this uh, internship, my short-term goals goals were to uh, kind of learn everything that goes in the setup and tear down for each sport. Uh, each sport's got their own little, uh, like, what do you need to do for, like, for soccer? We'd get out there about three hours early, make sure the concession stand is set up outside. Um, get all the advertisements and the partnership signs put up, get the corner flags put up, uh, get the American flag uh, up the flagpole uh, for volleyball, make sure the score table set up, put the chair. <laughs> <coughs> we would put the chairs out for everything as well. Uh, my second goal was to get oriented with the athletic department leadership and staff. Uh, that goes with uh, Alex Langella, our uh, facilities director, uh, Miss Flanagan, our athletic director, and all the coaches that I'd be working for while I was doing the internship. Um, my long-term goal goals were to uh, build on communication and time management skills, and then to create a supportive network through LinkedIn. Uh, did I achieve my goals? Uh, for the first goal, I did achieve it. I know what needs to be set up for each sport and where it belongs, when it all needs to be torn down. Um, for volleyball and basketball, um, those games or uh, all that stuff would be in a closet inside the Mark Twain building. For soccer, all of the uh, equipment that needs to be set up and tore down is either in uh, Alex's office or in the bunker outside. Um, my second goal, I would say I achieved it. Uh, I'm now familiar with our athletic department leadership and have established relationships with a lot of them. Um, my third goal, I have achieved it. Uh, communication and times, time management skills have improved to a professional level. Um, I communicate professionally through emails and everything like that. And then my network is continuing to be built through each class and relationship established with each internship and job opportunity. <coughs> um, what I learned while doing the internship, working in college athletics requires a lot of time and dedication, uh, but it's ultimately worth it when any of our teams win. Um, we had to work the regional volleyball tournament this year uh, that we hosted for volleyball. And uh, it was three really long days, but we got to see the volleyball team win. So that was pretty cool. Um, the second thing I learned was you have to listen to instructions carefully the first time so that you only have to be told what to do once. Um, when people are giving you instructions, they really don't want to have to repeat themselves multiple times. Um, and then the third thing that I learned is it's a, it's okay to get a head start on things you know you need, you know that need to be completed before you're told to do so. Like we would get there, we would get to the facility early, and uh, we we wouldn't be able to find out, so we just start setting stuff up. <clears throat> uh, the takeaways that I got from this internship: uh, your your work may not be noticed by all the fans and all the people there, but it is necessary for the games to run smoothly. Um, your role as an intern may not seem important, but each role is necessary for the game to happen. Uh, that that goes along with all the student learners and uh, everything like that. Personal growth, I, I would say I've gained a lot of experience in multiple different categories working through this in, internship. Uh, my my three big things that I kind of picked up this with the internship was uh, I ended up working concessions a lot for some reason, and so I got really good at the inventory and making sure we had enough for everything. Uh, I worked score table for the volleyball games, and then during the regional tournament. I helped out with the hospitality upstairs in the balcony a little bit. And then I've also become more independent towards the end of the internship. Uh, we didn't really need to be instructed on what to do 
when we got there for setup and teardown. Um, what would I tell my younger self? I would tell my younger self to kind of be open to all opportunities because you never know who you can meet. Um, you, you're getting all of that experience and all, new opportunities. And you also meet people that can influence your career by saying one thing to somebody else. Uh, I would also tell my younger self to start everything early so that you have the ability to manage emergency situations and work on other opportunities that come up since you finished your work early. Uh, advice for incoming students, uh, be prepared to spend long hours at the Mark Twain building uh, if you're doing the internship. Um, you say yes to every opportunity you get and establish connections with the people that you work for. And then advice for current students, add as many skills as you can. Um, your resume can't be too long. Uh, you just keep filling up the skills and uh, not just the skills like all your internships, the events you work, all that can go on your internship as well. Um, you need to separate your connection from your team winning a game and the sport management side of the games. Like you have to, as a sport management major, you have to work the games. Um, while you can cheer for your team, you have to be able to separate the emotional connection with the team from actually making the game operate and work. And then uh, sport management advice for general, um, get all assignments done for the due date, not turn anything in late. Uh, yes, Dr. B has the uh, late due date uh, for each semester, but if you wait too long, all that's gonna get piled up. Uh, you stay on top of your assignments and do your replies. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of times the replies don't look like they're worth a lot of points, but at the end of the day, they add up to be a decent amount of points. And then uh, connect, connect with all guest speakers on LinkedIn um, most of the time. They know you're going to connect with them. So if you just click the connect button, send them a short little message, and then uh, it'll be a good connection to have. Uh, in conclusion, Homestead Athletics is a really good first internship because it allows you to gain experience doing a lot of things in uh, college athletics. Um, working for your own athletic department helps establish relationships with the athletic department leadership and staff. Um, get to get You get to know all the trainers, the athletic director, everybody that helps out. Um, <clears throat> when working for this internship, you, you get to be proud for the work you put in. It's a lot of long hours, but at the end of the day, it's always fun watching uh, our UMSL teams win.